Mini camper van. Never seen one of those before. It's another project that doesn't run. It's got a fuel leak. Uh, the bloke said the fuel tanks burst. The bloke said it was f all right and it ran. Yeah, he did. You told me that. Oh, oh I've dented the wall now as well. Today is a new day. <laughs> And I'm not going to have a paddy today and throw tools. Uh, this bloke definitely said it was running and I trust him because he was a nice bloke. Um, it's got to be something simple, I reckon. Let's whip out these plugs and have a look and s see what they're like and then we'll go from there. We'll that will tell us what's up. Yeah. Right, you can grab me a socket. Right, let's have a look at these. <laughs> right, so we've got a plug made by Denso, one made by Bosch. We've got a Champion plug and an NGK plug. So four different ones. Um, that should still run now. So, hey, do you know, uh, you can tell why an engine's not running by putting that in your mouth and sucking it like a lollipop. Go on, you're the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. No, right. Uh, so, um, they're all black from where it was running in the past, but none of them are wet from the fuel. Now, off camera, we've been cranking this for about five minutes. Yeah. And you'd expect that to be soaking in fuel, but they're dry. So we've got no fuel. So I wonder if the, the float's stuck in the carb or I've kinked the pipe in the tank. Which nah, you wouldn't have kinked it. I hope not. No. Nah. Um, right, let's get a new set of plugs, stick them in, and let's pull the pipe off the fuel pump yep. and crank it and see if there's any fuel coming through. Okay. Right, I'll go down the parts place. Okay. Right, plugs are back on. Let's see where the fuel pipe comes up. There it is. I wonder if it'll just yank off. Yes. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> Just be careful because it might squirt petrol. Right, give it a crank. Okay, no, no, there's no petrol. No petroleum. I wonder, I'll pressurise the tank. Yeah, this is why you're the mechanic. So I wonder if there's an airlock between the tank and the pump so the pump can't get any fuel up to it. So if I put pressure in the tank, that'll blow it to the pump and then the pump should push it up. Okay, so how do we do that? I'm blowing it. <laughs> Let me blow in it. Right. Let's give it a blow. <laughs> Keith, mate, you've got to crank it while I'm doing it. I'll run out of breath in a minute. Turn him off. Ace. Brilliant. Oh, that doesn't sound too, it, it's running a bit lumpy, but it sounds sweet mechanically. There's no taps or bangs or anything. No, it sounds nice. Ace. What a relief. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, mate. A bit of a blow job gets yeah. it going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, ah, oh, brill. Right, let's get the brakes checked and the lights checked and then we'll go for a rip. Sound. Yeah. Mint. Brilliant. Right, side lights. Side lights. Yeah, nothing. Right, I'll cut it short so you don't get bored, but it ended up being only the headlights and that indicator worked. Nothing else worked on this car. So 90% of the bulbs were blown. Um, some were just missing, not even there, and they all had corroded connectors, so we had to clean those up. 
We did all those and that fixed most of it. We just had the front side lights and the brake lights not working out of that. So for the side lights, we found corroded wires up under the scuttle and also a blown fuse. So we've done that and that's sorted. And then the brake lights, the actual brake light switch, which is down here, was missing. It wasn't even fitted to the car. So the wiring was just hanging down to nothing. So if you touch the two wires together, the brake lights come on. So we obviously know the electric side is all right, but yeah, we just got our missing switch. So I undid that banjo nut, got rid of that and got a new switch, stuck it on, connected it and it works perfect, which is good. So that's all done, that's all working now, which is brilliant. Uh, the only things left electrical is the horn is missing, so that's an easy fix. Uh, and we've got no ignition lights and the alternator doesn't charge the battery when the engine's running. So a new alternator will fix those two problems together which is good. So all we've got left to do now is check the brakes. I've got to re-bleed them because I've just done that switch and the fluid come out. Uh, and then that's it. We can go for our drive. I can't wait. This is going to be brilliant. Right, let's get these brakes off. So we've got the wheels off and looking at the front brakes, the previous owner did well. Before he's took it off the road, he's covered the discs in a bit of a, like a grease. It's horrible stuff but it's saved the brakes from going rusty, which is good. So I think if I give it a quick sand, yeah, it comes off nice and we've got a nice clean disc underneath. Pads are good. They look like they were new. We've got no play in any of the ball joints and the drive shaft boots good too. Also looks like he threw a new set of front shocks on it just before he took it off the road because they are super clean. Um, yeah, brilliant. So the front brakes are all right. We're going to, scrape all this under seal off i think while the wheels are off and then ready for our black but uh yeah let's get round to the back so coming round the back i checked that wheel bearing first and then got to this one and have a listen to this definitely knackered so we need a new wheel bearing on there for a start right let's get these drums off and have a look inside so looking in here we got new shoes new cylinder inside the drums a bit corroded but it's not bad but yeah all the brakes are good so we'll do this bearing bang it all back together with a bit of a clean and a grease jobs are good un. right then buddy you're in the front driving while i'm making a cup of tea brill let's go come on then Oh, nice. <laughs> I could see that falling. That's definitely something we're going to have to fix. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a heart attack, mate. So, what's the first thing on the agenda? Coffee. Coffee, right, let's fill the kettle. Oh. Right, kettle's full. <laughs> you got wet yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Light the cooker. Ooh, it's a good fire. <laughs> You'd be nice and warm in there. Yeah. <laughs> right, kettle's on. Cups. We've got cups. It's actually not too bad to do this, Ent. Isn't it? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? I need to smash the cup. <laughs> right, you've got quite a lot of coffee in there now. That's okay, I need to wake up. Right. Coffee. Do you have, you have sugar, two sugars? Well, yeah, just, just try and put one in at the moment and you might end up with two in there anyway. <laughs> Right, ready? Yours is on the right. Oh, I can smell that. Uh, that's a nice smell, that is that gas. Yeah, it's like proper camping, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And now we just need some milk. 
Yeah, one drop or two. Out in the fridge. It's cold. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> We're in. Nearly. <laughs> cup, of, cup of milk. <laughs> oh, we're nearly boiled. Hey, listen to the whistle. <laughs> Takes you back from the uh, holidays with me mum and dad. Right, kettle's off. You have to watch it now because this is mega hot water. Okay, mate. Ah. Hang on, I've got to change hands, I'm right-handed. Did you get to 99? <laughs> Holy crap. I've got a bit of cleaning up to do here. You all right? Yeah. Well, you don't know your left or your right. Oh, shit. <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> There's your coffee. I think that's got a bit of sugar in. Thanks, mate. <laughs> right, back to no. This is the sugar one. Oh, Ugh, back to the workshop. <laughs> well, it, it made a kind of a cup of coffee. It's a Brit there. Oh no, that's got sugar in as well. But I mean, how did the sugar go everywhere? Blech. Right, Blech. back to the workshop. Let's get stripping this thing. Ha, 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 ha.